Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, we're going over one of the big problems of Xbox buying Bethesda that not a lot of people are talking about. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, for those of you unaware, Xbox has bought Bethesda. They actually bought Bethesda a while back, but the deal was just finalized. One of the big topics of conversation has been surrounding exclusives. There's been a lot of articles, a lot of videos, and a lot of general talk around console exclusives, namely PlayStation being left in the dark and future Bethesda games being Xbox only. Recently, Phil Spencer from Xbox has confirmed that Bethesda will have exclusives to Xbox Game Pass only, and that applies to Xbox and PC. A lot of people are concerned, myself included, that PlayStation will no longer receive future Bethesda games, and I think that's a pretty valid concern. But one thing that hasn't really been talked about is the state of PC gaming, the future state of PC gaming for Bethesda. Right now, a lot of Bethesda games are available on Steam. If future Bethesda games on PC are exclusive to Game Pass here, this presents a pretty big issue to a pretty large community, and that is the modding community, one community I am very supportive of. There are a lot of mods for Bethesda games. They add a lot of value to the game and a lot of extended playtime. After you've beaten the game already, you can go ahead and mod it and change it up and make it even more enjoyable for a ton more hours of playtime. Take some of the mods for Skyrim, for example. With these mods, you can add in brand new areas, new story, new quests, new armor, new weapons, new characters, new classes, and a bunch of new features. You can even improve the graphics. And yeah, with some of the mods, you can also do ridiculous things like changing dragons into Macho Man Randy Savage or Thomas the Tank Engine, but that's not the point. For a lot of Skyrim mods to work, you need something called the Skyrim Script Extender or the SKSE. If you're playing Skyrim on Steam, you can download SKSE directly from Steam or you can download it from SKSE's website. Both options work. However, if something like Skyrim were to become exclusive to Xbox Game Pass for PC, we run into an issue with SKSE. They specifically state SKSE cannot support any potential Windows Store release of Skyrim. Windows Store applications are locked down similarly to consoles and do not allow the APIs necessary for script extenders to work. So basically in a nutshell here, modding for Skyrim on Xbox Game Pass for PC is severely limited. Now obviously we don't know how things are going to go in the future. Maybe that team will find a way to make modding work on Xbox Game Pass for PC like it currently does on Steam but right now things look pretty doubtful. And stuff like this could deal a massive blow to the modding community, not only for Skyrim, but for future Bethesda games as well. But anyways, that is all I've got for today. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the future of modding for Bethesda games on PC. Do you think it's going to be as good as it currently is? Do you think it's going to be severely limited? If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone. Take care.